I have set before you an open door. I feel that another serious matter among the Lord's people in North America is that we have almost completely lost the gospel offensive. And people feel sometimes nobody's interested. Well, that's the devil's lie, isn't it? It's not true that nobody's interested. It may be there are some people who are not interested, but that doesn't mean that nobody's interested. When was the last time you asked the Lord for an open door? I was coming back from Japan. I had a few days at home, and then I was going on to Scotland, and I didn't figure it made sense to reset my internal clock twice, and so I just got up at 2 in the morning and went to work. And I stopped in at the IHOP, International House of Pancakes, and I was served by a young lady and began talking with her, and she said, uh, what are you doing up at 2 in the morning? And I said, well, I'm just home from Japan, and I'm heading to Scotland. Now, normally... I would think someone would say, so are you on business? But she said, are you a missionary? I said, good guess. I said, what do you know about missionary work? She said, absolutely nothing. She said, I know nothing about God, nothing about the Bible. My parents were so busy, we never went out to church. But she said, I'm interested. I said, you are. I said, do you have a Bible? She said, no. I said, I'll bring you a Bible. So we had a short talk. I shared the gospel with her. Well, it was maybe 30 minutes. There was no one else at 2 o'clock in the morning in the place. And so I shared the gospel with her, and I promised to bring her a Bible. She wasn't going to be at work the next day, but I'd come in the following day with her Bible. So I came in. She was busy, believe it or not. And another girl came over to me and said, Hello, Mr. Nicholson. I said, How do you know my name? And she said, Well, Kelly told me she took me out for lunch yesterday and told me everything you told her. Really? Yeah. Um... She said, I have a question for you. How do you know when you should talk to someone about God? And so I went through this rather convoluted explanation about the leading of the Holy Spirit and so on, and I could see her eyes glaze over. I, <laughs> it wasn't what she had in mind at all. And finally I got the point and stopped talking. And she said, well, I was wondering because she said, about a month ago you were in here with your son, and I served you, and you never talked to me about God. I said, do you want to know about God? She said, I really do. And so I said, well, sit down. And so she sat down. Eventually, Kelly came over, and the two of them sat there probably for an hour as I poured the gospel into their hearts. Here were two girls just out of high school, no religious background whatsoever, living in Grand Rapids, you know, church city, churches on every street corner. They had never heard the gospel in their lives. There's a big work to be done, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, we have a huge advantage because the one we're working with happens to know every person that went to bed last night weeping. Happens to know everybody who, when they come out in the day, put on a happy face and say, have a good day, but don't have the foggiest idea how to have one themselves. He happens to know every person that has doubts, every person that is questioning. He knows them all. And if the Lord is working with us, He ought to be able to arrange for us to meet those people. Do you not think he wants to do that? And this is the idea of the open door. I have set before you an open door.